This is the moon off from Louisville to Mitchell. And here we go. Uh, I have this video set up to be flying in a P-51 Mustang with a Merlin engine at about 325 miles an hour. And I'm flying about a, oh, roughly a thousand feet above the track. And here we're winding into New Albany. Just about to cross State Road 111 here. And here we're getting ready to you see 111 to the left or to the right. And what I really like about uh, these KMZ files is you can stop the video and uh, go to Street View. Everything in Street View is marked in yellow, as I'm sure you're well aware. And there's a Street View right there. 111 crosses the old moon on. And uh, I always wonder why this railroad is so daggone curvy. And if, after examining it some, and we're just about to hit into the real tough terrain of the Monon South End. Uh, these railroads were built along Greek uh, bottoms, mainly. And the engineers tried to let the, the old glacier uh, do as much of the work, although this railroad required a lot of cuts as we get into the into the tougher terrain here. Because I make a full screen, that's a little nicer. And you do that just by hitting the F11 key when you're in Google Play when you're playing these these tours. And now my screen capture program, I'm on a Linux box here. Call him a poor retired man, and it doesn't crash like Windows does. So uh, I'm an old mainframe uh, systems analyst. So I like working in the black screen. I still do. I cannot believe what the Google boys have done for us. Uh, they made life all the easy. Oh well, yeah, just bought the XY coordinates and. Lo and behold, you got a track that'll fly right along. And when you play this in, in Google Earth, it's a lot smoother in this video. The old P-51 is moving right along here. And then you begin to see we're in some real, real good terrain here. Uh, the 3D that Google Earth provides is just amazing. And look at the big cut there. You see the stream running to our, there it is to our left over here. I'll bring my mouse over it. And it, the old glacier just came down between these two hillsides and hills to the left and hills to the right there. And there's the old stream and the moon on just keeps going there. And boy, now then we're getting into the real fun part of it. I'm going to make sure my P 51's high enough I don't. Cr Crash into a hill here. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to stop this. And see, these flags are supposed to be over the railroad. Uh, we're 
Come in the pecan now, and now I'm going to start it again. Google Earth a little bit uh, funky sometimes. The the terms come out, and some or the the waypoints will display properly, and sometimes they don't. But if they don't, you just stop it, and then you uh, restart it. And usually, they work right after that. Here we're winding around and around, just following that creek. wind around here. The reason I did this project is because I, I love to pace trains and I love to see where railroads go, uh, especially the abandoned ones. And a lot of times it's hard to tell on a car, so I uh, Garmin has a real nice feature that converts KML files and KMZ files into uh, routes and you can actually put these routes into your uh, Garmin and it goes into a route planning I think it's called route planner folder and they will display and you if you pretty well know the territory uh, you can see exactly where the railroad is track is uh, from the highway so it enables you to easily track things and, and let you know where you stand. And from that, I found out that you could do this. And this, this saves a lot of driving because you can see an awful lot from your P-51. Another nice thing about Google Earth is everything with street view is marked in yellow. They have the yellow lines there. So we're about to cross a... Looks like we're in Salem now. Yep, we're in Salem. And you can actually stop this and go into Street View if you want to. And actually see what condition the railroad's in. You know, I really enjoy doing that on the northern nickel plate. And we're leaving Salem and we're heading north. And boy, we're like... Really winds around here, following that creek that's to our right there. But we're just about out of the terrific hills through this portion anyway. Uh, Galatia will cut a great big wide path through here. So when we go to Campbellsburg, uh, the Monon straightens out pretty much until it gets to uh, Orleans. And I think we're getting close to Campbellsburg here. Yeah, it's straightened out a lot already. See Highway 60 there to our left, and it all has street view. I'm sure most of you have been taking 60 along this route. This is really a, uh, I'm telling my age now, but I can remember when trains, freight trains used to run 55 miles an hour on this line. And, uh, My dad, uh, who was born in 1922, Aaron Campbellburg, actually rode a Monon from uh, Bedford to Bloomington, and he loved roller coasters. He said nothing was as thrilling as riding a 75-mile passenger train from Bedford to Bloomington 
along those curves and hills and halls uh, in that terrain of Monroe County, and weren't from Monroe County. But uh, but Griffin, I was born in '51, and I never got a chance to ride a moon on. Well, it really strains out of here pretty soon. Uh, we'll get the leaf sick. And I think I have a video I'll end up putting on YouTube for you. Uh, one of the last two trains to run through there when the old moon on semaphores were working. I know my wife is awful glad when that train went by because it looked like we were, it was going to jump the track. And there have been a few uh, derailments in leaf sick. And here's leaf sick coming up here. around here and uh, getting close to Orleans I know the, the the old line that ran from Orleans to French Lick and those are fun one to try to figure out I have some historical maps but the guys who drew those maps didn't have Google Earth to help them with their GPS coordinates and it's really fun trying to Find out where the old graves were just by looking at the terrain. Here we're coming. You can see it marked in red there. That's the line that heads on down to Paoli and French Lick. And the big sweeping bend there in Orleans. And uh, I thought I was going to get a video of one of the last trains that was still running from uh, St. Louis to Louisville down this line when they used to back the old, they back the engines up at Mitchell and head it back down. I guess they never could get a turnout built there. And uh, the daggone thing stopped on me, so I didn't catch it moving. This old timer sure would have loved to have had high definition uh, cell phone video when we were kids, uh, I'd love to have some pictures of the 55 mile hour freights run on this line. And here we are, coming into Mitchell. And this is we're at the end of the line. I think there's still some tracks remaining on Google Earth, but I think they've just about taken them all out from here to Ellettsville.